Hello, trading has closed on May 17th, 2023. We'll start with our disclaimer, go over our calls, make some predictions. We also have a treat for our viewers. We have another free session with Rod David tomorrow. So this is my trading plan for tomorrow, which is May 18th. 2023. Remember, I can be wrong. Trade at your own risk. Now, tomorrow, 7 o'clock Eastern Time, 9.15 Eastern Time, and 9.30 to noon Eastern Time, Rod David's going to give free real-time analysis of the market using his proprietary indicators. You don't have to register. You don't have to have a credit card, but you do have to go to this web address. And when I try to enter a link to it, YouTube gives me a hard time. So you'll actually have to type it out. But I would write this down so you don't forget. Because um, he often has a lot of good stuff. Well, uh, we'll look for the pattern today with the early high, which is this. We ended yesterday with a big drop. I said it was... So it was it was very suspicious because of the wall into the close and the timing. I said there was a good chance we gap up. And if we gapped up high enough, we certainly couldn't rule out hitting 41.41.26. So just a reminder of what we said. Now, saying I couldn't rule it out wasn't the same thing as saying it would print. And it did print a bit after its preferred time frame, but at least we didn't get caught up in the negativity at yesterday's drop. We actually thought that was a positive sign. So we'll cross 41, 41, 26 off the list. If we keep rallying, the next higher target is 41, 84 from two and a half weeks ago. Let's take a look at today's patterns. We're rallying all day, hit this new high, MJT, so the wooden stick. So we trade under this line, and we did. And so far, there's support there, and that's that's held so far. We're coming right to this resistance from me from the from the uh, TDST line of time to mark. That's the daily chart. That's the weekly chart. Here's his TDST line. Here's your 89 week moving average. We have a strong rally too, but not through the line. Now this is a weekly chart. And you don't have to gap over it on the weekly chart to make a valid break. So if we do continue higher and we get confirmation, if that happens, and that hasn't happened yet, would be a major break over resistance. Well, so far, if you take the October low to this year's high, we've just retraced to the 78.6% retracement line. So if that holds, and here's your 50 period moving average, if that holds, that's a lot stronger. That's a lot less of a pullback than we normally get. Normally go back to the 61.80 or 38.2. So we don't know if that's going to hold or not. But again, it's more evidence for, for this being very strong action. Now, at some point, my thinking was we were going to break out higher. This isn't quite as clear as I'd like yet for two reasons. One is we one is we rallied all day and couldn't close over these midday highs. It's negative, it should lead to lower prices unless we gap in, in either direction and take this high out early. And that certainly is entirely possible, even though I can count five waves up here. The other thing is here's a wall with gap pattern. This tends to be unstable. And this gap 
typically fills it sometime with support under its, its origin. And the majority of the time it fills tomorrow or Friday morning at the latest. So the majority of the time you're going to get this strong looking rally and give it all back. But if you don't, if that doesn't happen, even though this remains a long term target, it doesn't have to print anytime soon. The bottom line is if we do continue higher here, you're going to avoid a number of usually reliable weak signals. I should say signals for weakness and you're going to break through resistance if you break higher. Hasn't happened yet, but tomorrow's action should let us know. I'm hoping anyway. Well, tomorrow's pattern has a really low. It could still gap up. Typically, it's a rally day with a high in the final hour. If it's weak, we should see more weakness in the days to come. We had a wall with gap pattern today and most of the time, not all of the time, the gap fills tomorrow or Friday morning at the latest. If that doesn't happen, it usually, not always, fills at some time, but it doesn't have to be anytime soon. It's somewhat bearish that the rally couldn't close over midday highs, but that negativity would go away if we were to gap and promptly overtake today's high. My long-term prediction was that this consolidation would break out higher. It's possible, at least, that this is the start of that move. It's a bit disappointing I don't have a clear account for this consolidation being complete, nor for the rally so far as being a five-wave structure. Not what I was hoping to see. However, if, capitalized if, we were to gap up smartly and get confirmation Friday, I'd have to believe it. But make a clearer picture for me if we were to consolidate first, but I just can't say it's, re it's required. I had a great setup for a top earlier today and the market blew right through it. Many times that leads to a big move higher starting very soon. I'm hoping tomorrow's action will either confirm or invalidate today's rally. So if we get follow through, which hasn't happened yet, but if we get follow through and gap up and keep going, this could be the start of the breakout on the upside I'm looking for. But until that happens, nothing prevents us from giving this all back and closing closing the gap. That's not what I'm calling. I'm just going to wait to see what happens tomorrow. But there's a real chance that even though I don't have a good wave count to confirm it, that the breakout started, but it's a chance. It's not a guarantee. And I could explain a move in either direction. I was thinking we're going to consolidate some more. But just because I was thinking that doesn't make me right. And if we do get the big move up tomorrow, it could be the start of a big rally. We just need confirmation on Friday. So tomorrow's action should be critical. Next higher targets 41, 84 cash. If we do go up, this could be the start of something major on the upside. And that's today's call.